What up, guys? Matt Scientist 7890 here. MVP Sheer RSTS Express Wrestling Channel here. I'm back, gonna do on, back on the screen, man. Back on the screen. He's back. Back it, back. I wasn't even going to tell him you were back. I was just going to have him guess. See if you were. Because. Just be like, just oh, who's that guy? I could have just called you on Skype from like a different room. Could have. The whole time. But anyway, with this here, we're going to do a video response to uh, Sanders Robin. Um, he did a top 20 uh, dream matches. Uh, we hadn't done a, a, a you know a video in a while, so we thought about it. Um, we didn't watch Sanders' video. We watched it afterwards. Yeah, we pretty much saw the title and we were like, okay, that seems like an interesting thing. We have know? a couple. Oh, I, I think. Do you have any that are the same as his? I don't think so. I have three that are the same as his. He has a three that's the same as we, his. Do we haven't looked at each other's list yet either? Yeah, we, so we haven't. Just, we we don't we don't know each other's list. We're just gonna we, go with it for the for the last couple hours. We kind of just been randomly just floating around, just thinking of them and just writing them down. Just whenever an hour we and a half. I'm sure tomorrow we're gonna wake up and be like, you know, that would that would have been a good match to have. Yeah. But. So a minute in here, I'll start it off here uh, with my. I did twenty, he did twenty. We're just gonna knock him out real quick. Mention, no, He's got an honorable mention. Yeah, the first ten we're kind of just gonna run through really quickly, and uh, kind of just you know throw them out there. First, uh, my number twenty, uh, Kenny Omega versus um, K uh, Kofi Kingston. Um, you didn't put Kofi Kingston on your list. Um, I don't know. This just seemed like a interesting like spot type match like they would do all kinds of just interesting back and forth kind of like spots and it would just be entertaining i wouldn't expect it to be a great wrestling match um but i think that it would be really entertaining guys just going back and forth and just doing spots pretty much acting like animated yes. okay. um i'm just gonna do the honor mention just just rich Swan versus ach just you know you like that just nobody knows if you don't know who ach is just look just look him the fuck up and you'll understand why that matters. ach and then a match I want to see like five years from now, just Adam Cole and AR Fox. I think there's the future of just Adam Cole and AR Fox. I just kind of threw that in there. I didn't even use it, Adam Cole at all. I, I'm, I'm, I, I'm sure it's the next, it's the next day on Brian, bro. It's possible. I, I, less, I, I, yes. I, didn't, I didn't even use Adam Cole and I didn't think about it, but oh well. Next tier, uh, number 19, um, I got interesting matchup here. Uh, Jay Briscoe versus James Storm. Um, I didn't use either of those. I don't know. I kind of like the idea of it, like being like both guys are rednecks, but they're two different kind of rednecks. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> they one, both, they both like they both like drink. Beer, they both like drink like, beer. Yeah. You know, one like one's like a cowboy redneck, and the other one's kind of like a one just, just a, one just like a is, is like a hood a rich redneck. redneck, and one just kind of just like just still lives in the farm. Right? Just like a farm redneck, and one's I mean, you see those ones of James Storm when he's on the farm working out. I don't know. This just seems like the inter just style, like just the the way that they're these guys. They pretty much the characters that they play are themselves. So it kind of comes off as like these two gritty kind of redneck type guys who get in there and just have kind of a, just a brawl, and I think the style would kind of mesh. So um, this one, I'm, I'm ready for the high five because I, they, I I'm just pretty sure we both have this on our lists. All right, um, number 19, um, Dean Ambrose and Shinsuke Nakamura. Is it right? No. Damn it. No. Just personalities, just. Dean good Ambrose stuff. and, and Sh I don't even think that match would be very good, but I just I think I would laugh a whole bunch at just the mannerisms. Yeah, no, that's I thought of that. I thought of that match, but I just I I'm so know. upset. You it was a bit. Know. It was a bit low, whatever. But I don't know. I don't even want to do this fucking video anymore. <laughs> <laughs> just uh, number eighteen, I got Shingo versus Eddie Kingston. Ooh. Um, I don't know. Just like another. A lot of these matches I came up with either were because of a style meshing. Was high. Well, I was, I was high. I sat right next to you. What was, how was I high? Um, uh, Shingo, you know, just the kind of styles that they wrestle kind of just come off to me like just kind of that strong style. Like I said, a lot of these matches are kind of like personality matches or style wrestling quality Yeah, I tried matches. to have a good mix. So a good mix of different things. High-flying mix. So, I mean, this is just one of those matches that I just kind of threw on there and I thought, you know. Kind of leads well in my next match. I'm number 18, um, Christian and Eddie Edwards. I just like both those guys. I'm just kind of just... just I mean, there's nothing really to say about that match. Just they're kind of they kind of just come off as like just like 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 um, poor man, poor man, but of other people. They're both just blue to me. They're both blue to you. Know, so blue to you. That's random. It is. But I just I like that match. Okay. It's kind of it's kind of it's not even really dream. I just kind of just want to see. It is yeah. interesting. I kind of, I kind of like I kind of like I had a Christian as my yeah. Um. Next, I got uh, 17. I got Seth Rollins versus Naomi Chimera Fuji. I'm pretty sure this match has not happened. No. Okay. Not. Um, I just like the styles. Of the, Either of those. Were fun. The, just the just the, just a ending sequence of just massive just super kicks. Just 
back and forth. <laughs> just, just over and over. It'd be just over. the whole like just 15, 20 minutes, just super kids. It'd be a lot of really it'd be athletic. A lot of no selling. I think it'd be a lot of a- real athletic uh, style moves. Would Mary Fuji definitely go over? You know, he can't. He can't put over. Again, is you know. Seth is Seth Rollins still considered a young boy? Would Would Mary Fuji put he's him over? Like, he's like thirty in an FCW now. I mean, he's, still, he's I been there for like three years. They were gonna bring him up. He's been there for three years. Been there since like two thousand ten. I don't know. I don't know. Go ahead. Um, just uh, d- uh, was seventeen. Yeah. Just uh, Chris Jericho and Alex Shelley. I just like just their personalities. I didn't really know if I should include just Shelley on this list, so that's why it's kind of low. But I think I think they'd be pretty good. I think just them just going back, just being huge douchebags to each other. I think this will work better on an independent scene than in a WWE ring. Yeah, and I think, think Chris so. Jericho would have like free reign and just be just do dead. whatever. I think yeah. he could just he could just pull that role off. Well. Yeah. Nice. Um, next uh, for sixteen, I got a match that I've I've always wanted to see when even when I was younger, but now both guys are just complete veterans of the business. I think it would be I wouldn't I don't think it'd be near as high flying or creative as, as what I would wanted to see like back in two thousand four. But now I still think it would be good, and that's uh, AJ Styles versus Rey Mysterio. I knew you were gonna say that when you were talking about when you were just talking up the match, and you know what my next match involves Rey Mysterio. Yeah. Good job, bro. <laughs> um, yeah, AJ Styles versus Rey Mysterio. I don't know. It just seemed like just two smaller guys who kind of broke to the main event like it just seemed like they're the, the the way they made it to the main event and like just kind of it just seems like they took kind of a, like a direct same path two small guys that um got over in the main event and a lot of people the rumor were like AJ Styles is like I'm five foot three and I can fly he's probably he's probably yeah, yeah. Inside joke. but that um, that's a good match my match different I went totally different than you Rey Mysterio versus the artist formerly known as Claudio Castanelli That'd be Cassinelli. interesting. No, that, that would be just, 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 Cassinelli works fucking just perfect with just small wrestlers. Seidel, he's had numerous like Seidel, well, Black. Born, Evan Born. Um, now. Pac, he's matched with Pac, El Generico, like just works just great with smaller guys. Um, I think that match would be great. I just, I just, I, I, that's where I just see, I just want to see just, just the top, like smaller guy versus a guy that just works like, just perfectly with him. So yeah. It's yeah. a good one. Uh, number 15 here. I don't know if these have, these guys have had a match before, but it would be just a technical masterpiece. Alex Shelley versus Mike Quackenbush. Um, I don't think that's happened, has Did it? Did you look it up? I, I don't remember it happening, but I just I feel like it would have. I, yeah, but I, I just don't... Like, I would have remembered that. Like, I think I would have remembered that. My next match has Quackenbush, dude. We're just, we're just on a roll here. We're just on a roll. Um, yeah, I don't know. I just think on the ground, like, Shelley is just one of those guys that just... The European style and just all the different technical styles he wrestled like he, he you know he's known for being that machine gun and you know guy and, and he does like those spots but he like back in the day like when he was early in tna he used to get on the ground and just go just like straight up just technical just wizard so i think this match against quack and bush who literally probably knows more holds than dean uh dean malenko i was gonna say dean ambrose i don't know dude dean malenko can work over an arm like nobody's business bro his match against mysterio though i, I mean watched. so could arn anderson you know yeah but you know it's whatever <laughs> Um, my match is uh, Mike Quackenbush versus Finley. I just think I just I just mm-hmm. like that. I, I just think I just think if you had Finley work like a technical style, you can insert, you can insert William Regal if you wanted to too. I think both those matches would be pretty well. Um, the rules of this where you can only have one match per wrestler. So I mean I just I just decided Finley. Finley's been on a roll in the Independence. I think if he goes to Chikara, they have to do that match. I just feel like that's just a big. I feel like that's a money match for them. Yeah. But yeah. You know, that's, that's what it is. Nice. Um. 14, I got Triple H versus Robert Roode, or Bobby Roode. Um, I know I talked with uh, with uh, J-Man on the IWR show about this numerous times. He, he, he seems to think, like, just the way Robert Roode or Bobby Roode comes off, he just comes off, like, as just, like, just, just the equivalent of Triple H is, like, in TNA. Like, and I, I kind of see, like, see that. But I think the match would just be—it just seems like it really just comes off to me like just young Triple H versus Triple. H. It would be—it would be better if Bobby Roode was Ben and Dixie Carter. You know what I'm saying? Or if Dixie Carter had a daughter, maybe. But well, what would that have to do? With? Well, I mean, he, he, the Triple H is guess, with Vince's daughter. Yeah, but you know, I mean, I mean, Stephanie's basically in charge now. Like, yeah. Well, anyway, I just think that just the the both guys are just you know. A, can just pick apart another guy in the ring, and, and I think that would be an interesting match to see if we get involved in that. A match, I, I had to look up to see if it happened. It did not happen. And the 14th for me, Loki versus Kevin Stanley. Loki versus Kevin I just think they would just stick the fuck out of each other. Hmm. I just think it would just be a good... I could have swore I'd seen that somewhere, and I have no idea. I, I looked it up, and it, it was not on Google. So, I mean, you know, if it's not on Google, hmm. I'm going to go ahead and say it never happened. All right. 
Um, next year, uh, 13, uh, Sema versus Christopher Daniels. I didn't put Sema on my list. I do have Christopher I, I like this match. It just seems like two veterans of the business. Just two guys. I think this would be like a... They would almost like try to out like... Not dick each other, like, but out like... Not not Jericho Shelley. No, like out like veteran each other. Like kind of like... like... I have I, Daniels versus a different drag gay guy. Like I could see I could see Christopher Daniels and like Sema like... Or Shima like trying to put each other in like submissions like tie each other like into the ropes and like just like le- like make fun of each other and like do kind of things like I think that I can see that I can see that, I can see that being good so yeah that's what um, I a guy I did not even think of until we watched Sanders list which I had to add this guy into this match I didn't take his match but I didn't think of Michael Elgin but when I finally did just just Dice K Sekimoto versus Michael Elgin bro just, just strong style to the max. You know, I actually had, just I had that terms. match on here, and I changed it. You changed it, and just, but not because you saw or we hurt each other. I just changed it because I thought of a different match. I was like, I just think that would, I just think that would be good. I do. I think that that I had that as one of the matches I thought would be pretty good. Um, number twelve here. I'm gonna go. I go went a little bit of a different route uh, with Finley. I'm gonna go Finley versus Kenta. Um, I don't know. I just think they just beat the shit out of each other. There's just literally there's they like would. there's literally like five guys that just would hell. yeah there's literally just like five guys that would just beat the shit out of each other. I didn't actually go the stiff route with Kenta's match. We'll get to that. But uh, yeah, number what were we on twelve? Yep. Um, CM Punk not versus Kenta versus Nakajima. This was the match I was talking to where I was like, it's kind of weird. They're both really good. I don't know. It's just hmm. two just main event kind of guys like junior heavies kicking each other. I see that. It's basically, it's basically what it's going to be. Yeah, it's basically, it's basically. So, I mean, I mean, Nakajima is basically kind of like Kendo's like you know, wicked stepbrother. I see that. Just, you just kind of have the same style, and I, I wanted to use Kendo for a different match, so I was like pumping on each other. They just, they just took out that That'll work. Um, this next match right here, um, I think I put this on here partially because of crowd reaction, partially because of spots, and I think just the inter- just the how interesting these two guys in the ring, like how they would work. I just, it just interests me like, to just see these guys have a match. And that's El Generico versus Jeff Hardy. Yeah, like I don't, I just that just seems really interesting to me. Like, just like Jeff Hardy with all the paint and just like all that, shit, and then Generico and just have him just come out and just like just both be face and just like play to the. Just, I just think like the crowd reaction would be work. freaking crazy. That might that might sell tickets. You know, I'm just I'm, I don't know. I just but that's the one I said when I was talking to you earlier. Like you I got one in my laugh. head. Yeah, and you did laugh. I did. I, <laughs> I did. did. I, I liked it. Um, the first one I actually got from Sanders, and I was all, I didn't get from him, but I, when I really watched his list, it was the same. Just yeah. Styles and El Generico. I just think these two just, see, yeah. we're, we're just doing the same person, just in different matches against each other. I just think these two have just, you know, just such an expansive, like, move set, just a whole bunch of really crazy moves. It would just be, it would be a great, like, high spot match. Yeah. Like, they, they have, they have two very cloud, or crowd appeasing move sets. They're both, you know, good faces. It would have a good, you know, face face dynamic. I just, I just like that. Hmm. Uh, um, now we're going on to the top ten top here. Top ten, baby. A uh, top ten. Number ten here. Um, this number ten is kind of, uh, kind of weird. Like I didn't, I wanted to take it off here, but I liked, I just liked it for some reason. I couldn't do anything else with it. Um, CM Punk versus Johnny Gargano. Um, I don't, I don't know. I just think that just. It just them getting in there like like we like you think Gargano is like one of the just special like combination guys in the business like he's the best combo guy in the business. Um, I don't know. I just think it'd be interesting to just like it's in my Gargano matches next, dude. <laughs> just your Gargano matches. Next. <laughs> it just be it just be interesting to see just these guys just go out there and just if they had free will you know free reign to just go out there and have just a just a freestyle like I think this is really interesting like because I think Punk's one of those guys when he gets in the ring with like a creative guy he wants to like do creative things as well so. Garano, I think, is one of the most creative guys. I can see, I can see Punk pulling out some kind of the business right now. Used to do. Um, Number ten for me, I just think these guys just mesh perfectly, just just personality wise. Just Kenny Omega and John Garano. I just think that match just just move set plus like just personality just be just be really really fun to watch them just you know work out a twenty twenty five minute structure match. There's not there's not a ton of just you know if you watch Kenny Omega and Garano, you know they have. Personality. Yeah, the, 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 yeah, I, I think Gargano. It's kind of the it. same thing as like Generico and Shelly. Yeah. I think Gargano plays a little bit more serious nowadays, but I would have said Alex Shelly and Gargano, but they wrestled when Gargano was like 19 years old. Uh, so. gotcha. Uh, next year, uh, finally got my Sakamoto match on here. Dice K Sakamoto versus Samoa Joe. I like that. I'm pretty sure I don't think they've had a match. Um, I just think that'd be interesting. Just, just, just two big guys going at it. A lot of these like are just like I said the same. Just I would have had that match. higher. If, I would have had the Elgin match higher. I'm just not a huge second. Man, but 
feel like he should just be, I should just like him more. Than I feel. Hmm. But yeah, my next match is my Daniels match with the Dragon God. I actually haven't faced Yamato. I just think that would be a really good submission match. Daniels I mean, and Yamato. Daniels and Yamato, dude. That's I just think that would. I just think they would just have a really good ground game submission match. I'm a huge Daniels Mark. I'm obviously a huge Yamato Mark too. You you know that I'm, yeah. that I'm high on him. So yeah, I just think I just think that would be a really good. Just I, that's probably just my best like submission match. I mean, like you know, ground game style match. That sounds pretty good actually. Um, number eight here. Um, this one's kind of just because of like a body. Like just I felt like their body structure just kind of like just them standing next to each other just kind of just. I don't know. It just this is dream match. Like they're standing next to each other, man. I just I don't know. Forward, it, it just seems like it just seems like 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 their height, their build. Like it just comes together and like just to see like them just go at it. It just seems interesting to me. Um, and that's uh, Antonio Cesaro versus Randy Orton, which actually can happen. Um, both guys are on SmackDown, and the possibility of that match happening is you know can happen. Um, and I don't know. I just think the match would be really good. I think Cesaro would kind of. I think Cesaro would just throw just Randy Orton around like a rag doll kind of like he, he did he did it to Alex, know, I mean, he did Alex Riley he threw Alex Riley around just 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 all over the place so I'm gonna go with that but all right uh my next match another match that I, that I think could happen probably the only match on here that could be realistically could happen just John Cena and Dale Bryan just I, I wanted to say that ever since he kicked his head I was like oh god we might actually get to see that match that mm-hmm. match is just just an indie fat march just wet dream right there just just I definitely could see that the indie riffic Dale Bryan <laughs> just who everyone loves versus just John Cena, the just biggest baby face in the company in the last seven years. I definitely want to see the, that. The, 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 the crowd heat for that would... would punk Daniel? They'd probably punk, be better. Punk, I, punk I, I, think, I, think, I think if they built Daniel Bryan up another year, it would be, it would be bigger than... Because than, than, I, I think I think Bryan is more to indie fans than Punk is. Like, like Bryan was our wrestler. Like, like he stayed longer. Mm-hmm. He was in more matches. He was he was a bigger name on the indies, I believe, just because Punk left earlier. Punk left like three years earlier than he did. So I think like he's just like our indie savior versus just John Cena, just just the wrestling. Hmm. I would. Yeah. I definitely think that'd be pretty cool. Um, number seven here, I got. Uh, I, love, I love this match when I thought of it. Um, Bully Ray versus Sammy Callahan. Um. Just scabs and horrors. <laughs> scabs and horrors. Um, not we're not saying horrors. We're saying horror. horrors. Um, yeah. Uh, just oh, I just think they just beat the shit but you, out of each you, other. But you can get horrors in the past. I, I just I just think these guys would just beat the shit out of each other. Like I just think like Bully Ray. It'd be really slow and bomb. Yeah, like and they, I think if you've seen the Aries versus Bully Ray match of sacrifice, I just think it'd be like kind of like that. I think I don't think Sam McCallum's near as athletic as Aries. Not not even close, but. I, th- I still think I just that match just. Well, I mean, I mean, Callan did use weight like three hundred seventy pounds. That's true. I mean, he could get down there. Um, another match from Sanders list: just Richards and Tozawa. I would call this just you know the uh, the no selling match of the year. <laughs> just there would there would be absolutely no selling in this match, but it'd probably be just one of the funnest matches to watch ever. Just the most just ridiculously insane stuff they would try to do. Just thirty five minutes of just pump kicks and kimuras. And just probably. just just German suplexes. Get up. Just, just su- superflex from top rope. Get up, superflex to the outside real fast. You know, I mean, there, there would just, there would just be spots everywhere. That spots would be, everywhere. It would just be Daniel talks pure. It's just like least favorite match of the year. Probably. He would hate all over that. <laughs> shit. Uh, here, number six. Uh, this is one I, I really thought about. Like, as soon as we started thinking about this as match, I thought as soon as I saw that Michael Elgin versus Davy Richards match, I was like, if he can have Elgin can have that kind of match with Richards, he can have that kind of match with Daniel Bryan. Dude. So Dalen Bryan versus Michael Elgin, I think, I think could just even be better. Like maybe I don't know. It just it, to me, I just love the. I think Dalen Bryan's those guys that just work so good with big guys. Like he works so good with big. I, I literally had like four different matches for Dalen Bryan. Like just four, and they were all big guys. I'm telling you, dude, Dalen Bryan was hard so, to put in there. Dalen Bryan, Michael Elgin, number six. Number six for me. I think you might laugh at this one, but this comes full circle from like our first videos we did. Just The Rock and Dolph Ziggler, bro. Just The Rock versus Dolph Ziggler. Just The Rock versus Dolph Ziggler, dude. Just them just showing off, just back and forth. Dude, Dolph Ziggler just doing just push ups. Just Rock, just, you know, flexing. I mean, come on now. Just the just Dolph Ziggler's the next Rock, according to me. That's what I keep saying. So they, I, they I might as well see The Rock and Dolph Ziggler. You, 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 know, you know Dolph Ziggler would like sell the Rock problem just better than he would. He would sell it. He would sell it better than just just Tawei sells just Masala. I think that match would be interesting, but that's one of those matches like five years. Well, I mean, The Rock would just—he's got to do it now. Yeah. I'm just saying <laughs> it's not going to happen. I'm just saying I, I would mark. 
I'd be the only one in the crowd marking for it. Everybody would be like, I really wanted to see The Rock, and there's no The Rock taker. I'd be like, yeah, Rock, Rock Ziggler. Woo! Oh, okay. And Ziggler goes over. Ruby's better than John Cena. That's just fantastic. Like that. Top five time. No, top five. Number five, a match that I want to see for years and probably never going to happen uh, unless circumstances uh, hold up. Uh, Chris Jericho versus Austin Aries. Just, Take down the road. I don't know. I just love. I just love the way. I just. I just think the, these guys have just gone there and just have just an outstanding match. They can go in there and just talk, and it'd probably just be. Yeah, just I think they would just, and I think they would just know the ring and just sell just and just uh, the drama of the match just really well. So I, I can't. I would love to see that match. No, I just think this my next match would be. I would just call it an epic. Just, an just, epic. just Taker and just Kabashi. I think Kabashi's like semi-retired right now. Just Undertaker and Kenta Kabashi, bro. Just if you had like a half Japanese, half American audience. Like, just do it in the middle of the fucking Atlantic Ocean where just they all come, or I guess it would actually be sick. I literally think if, I literally think if just Undertaker went to Japan, like, they would, people would just mark out. I, I think, I think that match, I think it could be, like, the thing is, like, both these guys are so worn down, but, like, they could do, like, an Undertaker Triple H thing where just the story involved, just, just, they just could just drop just big moves and bombs on each other, just the whole match, and just, I think people would just mark like crazy. <laughs> if you did it in front of a really smart U.S. crowd, I think it would work, too. I see that. So number four, my Undertaker match. I uh, got the Undertaker versus KG Moto slash the Great Muda. I would have him be the Great Muda. I think if the you know he came out as the Great Muda with the paint or with the mask and did the whole like eerie gimmick. I've always considered the Great Muda, in my opinion, uh, Japanese version of ja the Japanese version of the Undertaker. Like that. Like everyone's like, oh, I want to see the Undertaker versus Sting. Like I when people were saying that, I'm like, I, I want to see the Undertaker versus the Great Muda. That's what I would <laughs> really, say. Who the hell is the Great Muda? Yeah, I wanted the Undertaker versus the Great Muda. I think they both wrestle a, 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 a like a slower, methodical style because they're older, and I think they they kick it on the ground and like just. Have like I said, like I wanted to see like Daniel Bryan versus Kijimoto. I just think just that would just be a submission match right there. That's one. But that yeah, that's my Undertaker ball. match right there. Yeah, I like that. Um, just this is my last like just Sanders Robbins match, and I was just so mad when he put it on this list because I just wanted to have this match to myself. Just Brock Lesnar versus Samoa Joe. Just that match would just be just just off charge just. Just, just, just wicked. I will sorry. one up you, sir, when I get to my Lesnar match. Yeah. I didn't see it. All right. But yeah, no, I just think that would be just wicked. Number three for me, um, John Cena versus Dean Ambrose. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, these guys wrestle such an like. Are you gonna go Dean? A are you gonna go John Cena, Kevin Steen, like everybody else? No. Um, go there wrestling. Uh, the just, just. Just I think the just the both guys wrestle such an awkward style. Like it to me to me it just comes off as like just yeah, it just comes off as like like a stone like a stone cold Bret Hart kind of feeling. Yeah, don't worry about it. It will be fine. Are you sure? Yeah. Eleven minutes. Alright, we're gonna hurry through this. Um Kurt Angle versus Pac. I just think Pac is like the new Chris Benoit and like Dynamite Kid style like wrestler, which is more high flying and just Kurt Angle can just go like a motherfucker. So I just want to see that match. Number uh, two. Number two yeah. <laughs> we're, going, we're going like really fast. Yeah, here batter's going to die. Uh, number two, Kevin Steen versus Brock Lesnar. Yeah, I saw that. Oh, uh, just, just, just epic. They would just, they would just, they would just, oh, God, just things with Kevin Steen. I'm going to one up you right now. Just, just number two, just Kenta and Ricochet, dude. Just, just motherfucking insane right there. I, I had Kenta Shingo for the longest time. I just think Kenta and Ricochet just, just would be just fucking crazy. Just, just one of just the best, just high spot style, like just, just off the charts, insanely awesome. Go ahead. Probably. Go ahead. And then my dream match, uh, Sander said, Angle and Daniel Bryan. Me, uh, I'm a huge hero fan, so I would go Cassius Ono or Chris Hero versus. We both have Chris Hero on the top. Versus, top. you know, Cassius Ono versus Kurt Angle. I like that. I actually thought of that. I went with, uh, you know, Chris Hero versus Shingo, because they're just like my two favorite guys right now. And like I said, I had Shingo and Kento, but I was like, you know, Hero and Shingo, that, that works for me. Yeah. But so, yeah, we need to get out of here, you know, because battery goes down, and that's when we just need to cut our video. Our last like top five, we're just done in like three minutes. Yeah. Well, we got this under been, we got under this, thirty minutes, so that's good. The RSTS so, Express. Thanks, Sanders, uh, doing your top twenty. Uh, we'll hit yeah, this up as fun. a response, and uh, you know, we'll see how it goes. And uh, peace. Keep it classy.